Hello everybody, hope that you are doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis. Really, I'm going to try and keep this one short and sweet, but oh, I woke up, uh, basically, it's been a very, 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 very long night. Obviously, we had to move at 4am, <laughs> so we had to be up early, spent about two hours up, had a quick sleep, I literally just got back up had a shower and was like, right, let's, let's just do a live stream. Honestly, like I am, I'm feeling really, really, really good. I hope that you all are too, by the way. Let me just make sure everything is working good here. Everybody's here. Everybody's happy. Everybody's feeling good, 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 good. And yes, here we are. Good morning, everybody. I hope that you are doing very well. What a positive vibe instantly. That's what we're all about. Positive vibes, positive vibes, positive trades and crushing. And I mean crushing this market. This is the this is the clip that I love. Let's watch this 10 second clip together. And this is what gets you hyped. Listening, listening to some of the greatest of all times. Champion and they make me the underdog. I'm going to show them all they're wrong because I'm the champion. I'm the real champion. There'll never be one like me. And all you people in Britain who rank me as the greatest, I'm going to prove I'm the greatest. I'm going to prove to you I'm the greatest. We're going to prove to the world I'm the greatest. And there we go. We are going to do that. <laughs> We are the greatest, we are the champions, and we run this market. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go into the charts today. Ooh, you can feel the hype, you can feel it, you can feel that dopamine. Oh, right, here we go. So this is it, this is it, yeah. We're looking at a totally blank chart here. You see, we're looking at this chart with nothing on it, nothing on it. What might people say when they, look, when they, when they refer to charts? Trading is a gamble. Trading is uh, a luck. People are, you know, running around with not uh, no idea what they're doing. I can show you and prove to you that this is anything but a gamble with three, three simple lines on this chart that have managed to call the low, the high and the low weeks. Yes, weeks in advance. Shall we add that all on? Three simple lines, three, two, one, bam. It was from low to high coming into the CC Fibonacci retracement, coming up to the swing failure pattern of the high, coming down to that daily level of support. Daily level of support, okay? This is the levels that we have had marked out for weeks now, okay? Ever since we originally were coming up for that swing failure pattern, even before we were coming up for that swing failure pattern, we had the CC swing failure pattern coming down for the daily look at this back it back in last year back in last year three levels on the chart cc swing failure pattern daily predicting yes predicting that we will get that swing failure pattern where will we come down to on that swing failure pattern we're waiting for that daily what did we come down to that daily <sighs> boom <laughs> what can i say obviously this looks pretty simple all I, I want to explain today, the current trade that I am in, okay? I will explain a few of the trades that I'm in, to be honest with you. I want to try and keep this one relatively short. I want to go over the utmost importance of the first take profit on this trade. I want to go over where the invalidation is and, you know, what we can be looking forward to literally over the next probably uh, five to 10 hours in the very, very, very short term here. And then obviously we can look towards maybe the next week. But really, I want to focus on the very short term. Things that I want to, first of all, uh, kind of remind you all that, yes, I can make this look extremely simple, extremely simple. I can make this look, hey, here's a line, here's a line, wait for that high, wait for that low. That's all you need to do. What you have to remember is that I simplify my analysis greatly when it comes to these videos, okay, because I don't want to bore you. But what you have to remember is this has come from hundreds, hundreds of and hundreds of hours of analysis, you know, inside of this chart to predict where the highs will be, where the lows will be, the important levels of the chart, making out that plan, formulating the plan, then coming to the execution of the plan. You just have to remember that I make this look very simple. I can kind of make it look pretty easy, let's be honest. But you have to remember that this is coming from hours, you know, many, 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 many hours of hard work, dedication, and, you know, that's just something to remember. Okay, just remember that. Um, but yeah, things to bear in mind. So picking up from where we were yesterday, okay, I just want to remind you where we were yesterday, where we're obviously consolidating here. Please, please watch my video from yesterday, yeah? 
And you can see this is gone exactly as predicted. Just watch yesterday's video to confirm this. I said yesterday we are in a position of patience. We are not going to be taking a trade here. Why? Because there was no high probability trade. If you are a champion member, you will know we had a weekly level there. And my exact words in the Champions live stream are, this weekly is not a high probability trade. This is not a level where I am that interested in trading in. My interesting level of trade is the daily off of the swing failure pattern of the low that was put in there. Okay. E.g. I had formulated every single, just the, the plans here were insane in the way that it's played out. But I just want to emphasize here the importance of that patience. It was the patience recognizing we know 47k the reclaim or the preferred scenario of lower for a swing failure pan off the low onto the daily. And that is exactly a pretty, to be honest, let's be honest here, it's exactly what has happened. Okay. Um, so obviously, this is the important thing. As you all know, I have had shorts from $69,000 coming into $58,000, coming into $52,000. You know, I have quite a lot of shorts open from higher up. So the first question that you might be wondering to yourself is, okay, um, are you still holding your shorts from, let's say, like, you know, that $69,000 short? My, my answer is yes. Of course, I still hold this short position open, okay? And I have not taken profits on my higher term time frame short. So I have from the $52,000 short because this is the range that I'm trading. But from like the $69,000 short, I haven't even taken profits on this. Why? Because first of all, it's an absolutely massive hedge. And second of all, it's 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 over a hedge because of the leverage that I've used on this. And, you know, it's just making me money. I'm in a very secure position. There's still no sign of strength. This move to the bottom of the range is, is not a sign of strength. OK, it's a it's a valid long setup and I will go over that. It's a valid long setup, but it does not mean I need to close out my shorts from <laughs> higher, which are in a massive amount of profits. Yeah, there's, there's no reason for me to do that. OK, I need to at least see a sign of strength. OK, so that's the first thing to bear in mind. I'm not going to close those short positions, which I have from much higher. Yes, I have taken a major profit off the one for fifty two thousand dollars. Why? Because, you know, this is the low of that trade essentially okay when i was planning out the fifty two thousand dollars short off of that swing failure pattern you know this is the level for me which is absolutely significant so to not take profits here on that short um wouldn't make sense in my opinion but from my shorts from higher um yeah i'm not taking i'm not, not actually even taking a profit here because i will i will actually want to wait for that sign of strength OK, so that's the first thing to bear in mind. Still in those short positions. OK, I'm not getting carried away here. I'm not getting euphoric. Obviously, I like to come on these videos, have a bit of excitement, have a bit of, you know, happiness with you. But when it comes to trading, my emotions are like a rock. <laughs> you know, I have no emotion when it comes to this. If the, At the end of the day, you know, I'm still prepared for a scenario that looks like this. OK, so if it does just like fall down here and crash down, hey, you know, this is why I'm prepared for this scenario. If you're not prepared for those scenarios, well, that's how you get wrecked period. Okay, so if we come down onto the one minute chart here, you can actually see, oh my god, this is just amazing. Look at this one minute chart, <laughs> all the way down, 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 all the way down. What did it bounce off of? It bounced off of that daily level, a wick onto that level on the one minute chart. Yeah, we, we just touched that level once and it's takeoff. A level that we have had marked out, remembering <laughs> level that we've had marked out for absolute weeks we hit that level to the one minute chart low for a bounce let's remember this is a big bounce a bounce of five basically five percent bounce to the upside five percent bounce if you're playing with the amount of numbers we're playing with this is crazy amount of money that you're making off of this and this is what I want to explain. This is, in my opinion, definitely, definitely have hit a take profit one. You have for sure hit a take profit one off of this trade, okay? Why? You come back into that POC, you come back into the high to low coming into the CC, okay? So you come into the CC, you come in, you came into that POC, okay? You come back into support, 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 resistance. You know, if you, if you don't think this is a take profit one, then... I don't know what to say. This is definitely okay to <laughs> take profit one. Okay, and then what you can do is move that stop loss to the entry. If you got a very nice, to be honest, you were given a bit of a gift entry. You have the first original entry if you're very aggressive off of the daily. You have the second entry, of course, off of the retest of the level. Invalidation is obviously below the low. And in, in, in this position, this is what you're absolutely gifted. You are gifted now a risk-free trade if you got the original entry. If you missed the swing failure pattern and if you missed this, um, 
uh, you obviously you're not in the same fortunate position that we are in but the only reason we are in this fortunate position is because we've had these levels marked out once again for for weeks okay so to miss that level when you've had it planned for a week is um <clears throat> questionable like how does that happen <laughs> you know how, how does that happen so if you had that level marked out if you had the confidence to take the trade you are in now a, a what i would refer to as a risk-free position why because take profit one for sure has been hit we have bounced five percent we've come up into our big levels of resistance this is a very sensible take profit one what can you move now you can move that stop loss to entry this has given you a risk-free trade okay where you are prepared now for this scenario let's just say the scenario of, of a move back down maybe it does something like this takes some highs and then back down whatever the scenario along this way is is, is you are prepared basically for a, a new low to be made on the Bitcoin chart, which then provides you with another uh, another setup, okay? Um, da -da 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 -da. Uh, and basically, if you then get this rise in price, okay, if you get that rise in price, you are also prepared for, you know, upside because you are, th let's just think here, what trades are you taking down and around here? You are either taking the long or or no position because to be selling down here in my opinion is you know it's just ma ma massively massively too late yeah uh, you, you you cannot really be searching for for uh, shorts down here in my opinion the time for the shorts of course are <clears throat> you know let's just say once again time for the shorts are at the top of the range <laughs> you know there are high prices if, if you're shorting down here it's just um <clears throat> You know, it's just uh, <laughs> a bit crazy in my opinion. So the, the only real position, and this is what I will always say, when you're at the top of the range up here, what are you looking for? You're looking for a short or no trade. So when you're at the low of the range, you're looking for a long or no trade. <clears throat> I think if you're searching for shorts down here, <clears throat> then it's a little bit crazy. But let me remind you, many people will be. Many people will be searching for shorts down here. Why? Because they're fearful, because they're scared, period. That is the, the, the only reason why one would be short in here, in my opinion. The only reason would be because they are scared and because they are fearful. Uh, myself, I'm none of those things, and I tell you I'm not searching for shorts. Again, that does not mean I don't think we can go down lower, but it does not mean I'm shorting support, <laughs> okay? We all know the meme of, of every time there's a rise, it's, uh, oh my God, I'm really bullish, and every time there's a drop, it's, oh my God, I'm really bearish. You know, this is what 95% of the traders are doing. Every rise, they buy. Every drop, they sell. Yeah, we have to flip this. We have to flip this on our head. Okay, every rise, we're looking for shorts. Every drop, we're looking for longs. Okay, like this scenario, we could have done a swing failure pattern. Okay, come back down and stopped us out. That didn't happen and we had the absolute perfect trade to the very low. Like I'm saying here, we could have another perfect rotation up to the high or we could come down once again for the low. The outcome of this is is not needed to know. And this is the thing that separates, this separates, play, pay attention. This separates the amateurs to the professionals, period. This one line. You do not need to know what happens next to make money. We do not need to know what happens next to make money. We do not need to know if the outcome of this trade is a very big winning trade or is a take profit one and a loss. That that outcome to us as a professional trader is not needed to know. Why? Because we have only taken one trade at this range low and that trade either turns into a bigger winning trade or it stops us out and we search for a new trade lower. Okay. But because of the reason of locking in take profit one and stop loss to entry, it gives us this scenario where the market can now move in any direction and we have guaranteed ourselves to make a profit. And some people don't comprehend that. Why? Because they don't have the knowledge required to comprehend it, to be honest with you. But when you have that knowledge, and I think in this in this section, the people watching, I imagine in here what we probably have 90% of the people is champions, to be honest with you. So you, you likely have the knowledge. Some people won't. The majority probably do. And the people that I'm speaking to that know their knowledge, you, you totally understand what I'm saying here, that we are guaranteed profits whatever happens. And some people that don't have that knowledge are saying, ah, this guy, la, 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 la. you know, we get called every name under the sun. But the people that understand, the people that learn and the people that truly get that, well, they're going to be sitting like me like now. <laughs> happy, <laughs> to be honest with you, very happy. Um, but yeah, that, that, that is the <clears throat> absolute utmost important thing that you just truly have to comprehend. Um, and yeah, that's all That's all I'll say. If, if you are, if you are a... Um, if you are a champion in here watching right now, 
smash that like button. Give him, give me a comment and say hello. Because I have a feeling George, George might be live right now as well. Is he? Is George live right now? He had a little bit of confusion because <clears throat> I know he does his morning updates, and I was like ultra excited, um, <laughs> and I wanted to come on and do this live. So I think. Not sure. George might be live as well in a minute. <laughs> but hey, this is what this is the advantage of uh being a champion. You have live streams all day long. <clears throat> oh, I'm dying here. Here we go. Here we go. Here comes everybody. Here comes I told you. Majority of people here are in the champions group. Um <laughs> Hello, 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 hello. Why is this comment being hit? Smashing it, mate. Well, beep done. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Thank you, my friend. Dan the man, champ for life. Thank you, Jez. Short and chill. George is waiting for you to finish. Oh, there you go. So as soon as I finish this live stream, George is going to go live in the group for another live stream. That is what you call, that's what you call content all day long. <laughs> um, George, by the way, if you don't know, is a is a coach at Chart Champions. Um, oh, wow. What a, what a day. So I suppose we'll, we will, I need to review an altcoin. Yes, I want to review an altcoin for you uh, because you think Bitcoin makes me smile. This altcoin has made me smile even harder. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh man. Wow, we are getting so many comments. There is actually so many true, <laughs> so many members here. Hello. Hello, hello. <laughs> this is funny. CC family, 70% win rate last couple of weeks. Well done, my friend. Best family ever. Uh, yeah, man. Wow, this is this is really nice. Hello, everybody. People coin. <laughs> um, right, yeah. So I want to cover. I want to cover an alt, and um, then we will we will keep our eyes on Bitcoin, I suppose, simultaneously here. La, 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 la. So you can see we're coming up to this PDPO. See, we, we definitely are coming up into this sort of uh, resistance zone. Yeah. So this is the thing you have to remember. This is intraday. This is our intraday. Wow, these these comments are going pretty crazy. <laughs> it's good, but obviously you can see this collection. You know, so these are obviously our resistances. You can see we have like collection of resistance here. So to think to yourself, oh yeah, I'm just going to long here. Well, you got to decide this. <laughs> I think the the opportunity was of course the swing fair pattern or or the retest. If you do, all you have to remember is this intraday, yes, intraday, but nevertheless, you are definitely at your intraday resistances. As I just showed you, some of them you can see even more here. They're all stacked up here around 43,000 for sure. You can see the stack. This is what we know as this is heavy confluence of, of, of resistance coming up here. Of course, if you can get through this level and flip it, that's going to look very positive. Yeah, that would be very positive. But until proven otherwise, you know, we we are traders. We 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 think in probabilities. I had a great conversation the other day. Um, traders think differently, and it's nice to have traders as friends because we approach life uh, very differently than many other people. We we approach life thinking about everything is a probability. Even even hit me here being today, being alive and speaking, that's a probability. Um, <laughs> so uh, yeah, I think the way a trader thinks is uh is, is we're, we're built differently <laughs> so yeah this is all, all a game of probabilities of course but this this is uh very big resistance okay on the local smaller term time frames we're definitely out of resistance here so we can obviously expect a pullback flipping this of course is very positive um you know very positive for the for the medium term to be fair with you um so yes i wanted to cover an altcoin briefly and which altcoin is this, you might be thinking. It is. Da -da 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 -da. Where did I write about this? I swear I wrote about it the other day. Um, oh, yeah, we have another live stream tonight, by the way. <laughs> wow, we're going to do so many live streams today. <laughs> we are. Uh, where was that altcoin? Um, ah, yes, it was this one. It was it was Atom. I want to talk you through this coin briefly because it's it's been pretty insane. Obviously, it's done 100%. In a few weeks, but I want to just remind you all here when we're referring to altcoins. I mean, when we're referring to altcoins, um, there's one thing, there's one common thing that I have noticed um, between 
there's just one thing that I've noticed heavily when it comes to altcoins. Everybody wants the analysis and everybody wants to know what's happening with the altcoin that's pumping right now. Okay, so for example, uh, I don't know, when it was sand that was pumping, everybody only wants to do sand. When it was Luna, everybody only wants to trade Luna. When it was named the altcoin here that's done thousands of percent, everybody only wants to do or know about the altcoin that's already pumped. Every, that's what everybody's drawn to, the altcoin that's already pumped. Yeah, because it's herd mentality. Everybody wants to FOMO into the coin everybody else is FOMOing into. Here at Chart Champions, X that. Never will you see me interested in an altcoin that has already done the thousands of percents. My speciality when it comes to these altcoins is finding accumulation patterns, e.g. an altcoin that has dropped 80, 90 percent and is then spending times at the lows where you are accumulating, e.g. buying it every single day during an accumulation period ready for that to turn into a thousand percent pump to the upside. Anybody in this comment section that's inside of the group will 100% verify for that, that for you. I am only interested in altcoins at accumulation at the lows. I will never be interested in altcoins that have already done the hundreds and thousands of percent gains. That does not interest me in the slightest. Okay, and the altcoin, obviously, that I'm going to be talking about here briefly, it, it, it is it is Atom. Why? Because this is an altcoin I have identified as accumulation, and we're talking about months months ago now. By the way, probably six months ago, I identified this as accumulation. Been buying it every single day, uh, and now we're reaping the rewards. Um, it was a funny one, putting in the hard work on Atom so people didn't enjoy the Christmas gifts. I'm not sure if you can see these numbers, but basically this is a special way of, of working, by the way. It's basically you walk up, basically being a market maker, you walk up the price. You can see here market orders. Uh, you, you have to remember, I trade on Bybit. This is information you're never going to see anywhere else, by the way. This is pretty... <laughs> put your listening caps on. This is market maker information. Anyway, I trade on Bybit. The max uh, position size that you can enter at market is about $30,000 when you're trading on the spot here. And so the way if you are trying to accumulate something and push price up, you can see what I'm doing here. Market entry 20,000. This is in the space within a minute, by the way. All of these orders are in the space of one or two minutes. Market order $22,000. Market order $20,000. What that does is basically the liquidity on, on Atom at this point is low. Yeah, the liquidity is really low. Why? Because not many people are interested in Atom at $20. Today, it's at $40. Everybody's interested in it. But a way, if you want to try and break price out, you know, you've accumulated enough. You know, you want to try and <laughs> increase. I've been buying this for six months. You want to try and get some form of breakout occurring. The, the, the liquidity is low. The problem is if you market order, uh, what will happen is price will instantly go up and then it will come back down very quickly because there's like bots on the other side of the trade. And basically, you need to out trade the bots essentially there's always going to be another there's always going to be another order on the other side on a low liquidity market if you just do one market order at a very high likelihood it gets sold straight back down so what you need to do is market order up and then get your limit order in yeah get your limit order in market order up place a limit order really quickly above the price so you can see here the way i'm walking up twenty thousand. Again, this is in the space of a few minutes, but you go like $22,000, $22,000, place a limit there at $26,000. Another few market orders, $1,000, $15,000, place your limit orders in. That's $10,000, $8,000, $18,000, another $18,000. Market order, another $10,000. Okay, and it's like working the price up with your, you go market order, market order, limit, limit, limit. Okay, those limits are going to absorb all the sales of the bots. Yeah, and this is how you're working price up. This is this is literally how you this is how you do it. You have to do a combination. Again, it's pretty fast. It's pretty skillful. Let's be honest. But you have to work price up. Market orders, limit orders in. Okay. Why do you put the limit orders in? Because if you don't, the price gets sold off by the bots like really really quickly. And then you go your market orders again. Price pumps up pretty high because again the liquidity is low on this market. Well, it's not necessarily low. Hundred million maybe you know, do the math, um, you, know, you know, then you get your market order in again. And if you don't place that limit, you have to remember the price is coming straight back down. So if you want to walk price up bit by bit, then you obviously have to do this combination of limit market, limit market, limit market. And of course, you need a big bankroll to do this. But if you do, then this is how you can kind of form, start to formulate breakouts. This would have been back on the, I don't know, back when price was around $22. Uh, this was 
b b before Christmas time. <laughs> okay, and I was like, hey, my team, <laughs> it's time. I'm putting in the hard work today on Atom so you could enjoy a CC pool Christmas. This, this would have probably been around the I don't know, 20th of December. But what I want to emphasize here is, is the way that this is absolutely played out oh, just really, really, really perfectly. You can see here, this is from the CC, by the way. So from low to high, you come into the CC, into the speed fan, from low to high. Speed fan CC, swing failure pattern, confluence. From this, we have now seen an increase in price in just over two weeks of 144%. So you can start to see how price here has come together. CC on the speed fan on a swing failure pattern of the CC. So this is basically three major levels of confluence. Okay, swing failure pattern on the bottom of the CC on the 7.5 speed fan. Again, a, a tool that's extremely underrated, extremely underrated. Okay, what's happened from this? We can all agree, I think you can all agree, this is a major level of support now. This is a major level of support. If that is lost, it's a big sign of weakness. But until lost, that is a big, big support, okay? And so what happens here is you, you find support here, and obviously you've now pumped up 144%. Again, the, the tether pair actually is sitting at basically $44. $44 right now. Okay, the tether pair. And I'm trading the tether pair here, but that's at $44. So we've basically seen over, you know, 144% gains here, over 100% gains on, on, the, on the tether pair too. Okay, and it all comes down to identifying these accumulation schematics, then doing your analysis within this, recognizing to yourself, okay, if we lose this level, I could look down towards, for example, $10. But if we hold this $20 zone, which is on the tether pair was your point of control of obviously the whole range. Here you had the 7.5 on the, on the CC. And it's then kind of recognizing to yourself, hey, if we see a sign of strength here, I can remove this plan of necessary looking for lower. If we see great, you know, if we do see weakness and we do lose this support, I can look for lower. Easy, you're prepared for upside, you're prepared for downside. Yeah. And then it's executing each level as it becomes more probable. As you can see, these levels have been really well respected even on the lower term time frame. This is 10% range, by the way, but you come up resistance with the monthly, flip it into support. But you can see here, monthly, weekly, monthly, weekly, 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 weekly through. So your next level of support on Atom is obviously the weekly again, because so far it's kind of broke this level, back tested, broke this level. So now if you've got a back test, this is still your next level of support now. OK, so that's what I'd be looking at on, on, on Atom. This is the main coin that I've been trading recently. So uh, that, that for me is the next major important level of support. OK, would be the weekly here. Uh, why? Because this maintains our bullish market structure. This is our next SR flip. I keep it very, very, very simple when it comes to the altcoins. Let me just check Bitcoin. Yeah, so Bitcoin getting a little bit of a pullback here. But basically, that would be my next major level of support on Atom. OK, um, Again, this is going to coincide with Bitcoin. Bitcoin gets this volatility, then it probably will mean that Atom does pull back. All you have to remember is this is extreme, um, extreme volatility, which I love. I love the volatility. But Bitcoin is going to play a really high part in this, in my opinion, depending on whether this move gets another move to the downside or up. Mm. Wow, what a day. <laughs> this is exciting. I'm not going to lie. Um, but yeah, um, shall I cover another altcoin? Da, 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 da. <laughs> wow, <laughs> what a day. What a day, what a day, what a day. Um, oh yeah, that's what I was going to mention as well. <laughs> you, 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 a lot of people, because a lot of people, I'm sure, a lot of people when they come onto my videos, they do say, Daniel, all you do is brag. All, all you're doing is, you know, try to show off. Please do not take what I'm showing you today as, as showing off as bragging. I don't need this. I'm not trying to show off. What you have to comprehend here is that this is excitement and honestly a proud feeling. What you have to remember is this is from hours upon hours upon hours upon hours upon hours of hard work. That's what you're not seeing, that all of the hard work that makes this seem so easy. So, just imagine you've put in thousands of hours upon doing a bit of work and then to see your work become so perfect per se. It's so hard not to be happy and excited. So please don't think it is bragging. 
do not think, you know, some people, Daniel's so arrogant, Daniel's so bragging, he's so big headed. I'm not, I'm not this type of person. I truly am not. All I am is so excited and passionate for what I do. Some people can take this the wrong way because I guess it looks like bragging, but it's, it's, I'm just truly, I mean, if you could feel my heart, I'm just, I just love this. I just truly love this. And then to see the things play out, for me, this is, it just is a really good feeling. And of course, I'm shouting from the rooftops, but it's it's from a position of 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 happiness, of happiness. I don't care, to be honest, whether you whether you anything else. It's just I, I love what I do. And this is the next thing that I was gonna move on to. As I just saw it here, it was that yes, <laughs> chart champions now, by the way, are officially, we are officially the number one trading team in the world period. This is the latest training competition. We are the current reigning worldwide champions. So whether you like me or you hate me, to be honest, the one thing that you cannot deny, it's impossible to deny. And that is that we are the best in the world right now. People are going to think that's bragging, but it's not bragging if it's a fact. <laughs> no, if it is a hard, cold fact, we are the number one in the world right now. Is that a brag? No, it's not. It's a fact. We are the number one in the world right now. And that feels good to say. We got our trophies back and here we are currently placed number one, number one in the world after winning the latest trading competition. Boom. <laughs> that is what you call, that's what you call a wrap. <laughs> nailing Bitcoin, nailing crypto across the world. We are number one right now. <laughs> so uh, that's all I could say. Um, da -da 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 -da. I will take two questions, I suppose, before we end. If you have a question, put it into the comments. Now, I will take your question and uh, I will answer it. And then I think we'll wrap it up. As long as something major doesn't happen here on Bitcoin, I'll keep my eye on this at the same time. But yeah, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. We are officially number one in the world right now. <laughs> the results speak for themselves. Yes, there we go. Hard work results, right to brag. <laughs> call it right to brag or call it being proud. I'll leave this up to you. I suppose it is a little bit. It is a little bit of a brag. <laughs> a humble brag of we are number one in the world. We finished number one. That feels good. Um, da -da 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 um Wow. So this is the hard thing when so, so many comments come in. Um uh, so somebody, one of the questions is, how do we sell EXO to look like yours? The answer of this is, this is all in templates. So this is just a template. So we obviously have quite a few templates. So th these are all templates. All, all of the templates are shared with inside of the uh, group. So they're actually all in the contenders section. Uh, so obviously all the champions, all the contenders have access to them. But uh, yeah, all those templates... They are shared in the Discord, in the side of the contenders for the champions and the contenders. So yeah, how do you set it up like this? Well, it's all via the, the templates. Um, champions train losers complain. Yes. <laughs> um, how has has trading has trading improbabilities changed the way you think in everyday life? I think yes. I do think yes. Um, I do think yes. I think the way that I trade, the way that I think in life is definitely different, uh, for sure. So I like trading because, well, trading changed my life in every single way imaginable, I suppose. But also, yeah, definitely changed the way I think, the way I, I approach life, thinking in this way of probabilities. Everything is a everything is a probability. Yeah, for sure. Um. Um. Da -da 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 -da. So yeah, I do think it changed my life in like the way of the way that I think, the way that I approach things for sure. Um, do, 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 do. Now, did it? I will answer this question because it's probably one that we get nearly every single day right now. Somebody says, <laughs> this, is, "This is kind of a funny question because we do get it regularly, and I suppose it is kind of a valid question per se." <laughs> Daniel, if you make so money, if you are making so much money, why do you charge two hundred pounds for your membership? Valid question. You maybe you're thinking this yourself, okay? Because we do get it a lot. Why? Why? Why do we charge for membership if we're making money trading? 
Okay, well, there's a few different factors that I could list here. And this is, I maybe just cut this and say, whatever someone asked the question, I just refer them to this video. Why does Chart Champions cost 200 pounds a month? A high price tag. I agree, it's a high price tag. Why is it a high price tag? <laughs> we are the best in the world. We are the best in the world. We could basically triple the amount we charge and people would still pay for it, to be honest. Why? Because we're the best. <laughs> you pay 200 pound a month, you make 2,000 pounds a month. But yeah. The first thing, why is the high price? Well, because we are the best. Um, why do we charge for payments if we make money trading? Why isn't it free? That's the question we get all the time. Why, is, why isn't it free? Okay, uh, well, the reason it's not free is actually Chart Champions originally was free. And what you will find when the group is free is instead of a close-knit community, um, you get let loose with the internet. And let me tell you, the internet can be can be very trolly, very, very annoying at times, yeah? So if the group is free, you basically have a run riot with every single person in the world able to join. And let me tell you, this is very, very, very hard to concentrate. Why? Because you're getting asked a question every single minute. Every single minute, there's another person questioning. And it's not just that, it's that, you know, 50% of the questions are are from trolls, people just time wasting. They are just there to time waste. They are just there to cause problems. And so if the group is free, it's open to everybody. It's just not actually viable. It's just impossible to run anything like this because the amount of trolls that come in here and time wasters, it's just not worth your time. Second of all, when you're paying for something, you've actually made an investment in yourself. When you've actually made an investment in yourself, you are statistically, yeah, this is a statistic, you are more likely to actually work towards what you've paid. Yeah, if you receive something for free, you do not value it as much as if you've paid for it. You've made that investment in yourself. So why, why do we charge? Well, because if it was free, it literally doesn't make sense. That doesn't work. Uh, you have to remember, we, we now have this week, this week we took on five new people. We actually have now 30 people working for us. So also if it was free and I'm paying 30 people working for us good salaries, you know, I'd just be losing a ton of money. And this also just doesn't make sense. Yes, I'm making a lot of money trading. Amounts that people don't even believe. When I say how much I'm making in trading, people don't believe it. <laughs> anyway, it just wouldn't make sense, even though we're making loads of money. It, why would I want to lose money to help people, it just doesn't it just doesn't add up, yeah. So, so the question of why is it not free? I mean, you can kind of see for yourself. But you know, people say, "Hey, Elon Musk, uh, you know, Elon Musk is a millionaire. So why is it not why is not all his Teslas for free? Well, it's just not how the world works, <laughs> okay. However much you might like it to be free, it's just never going to happen, is it? Because it just does not make sense. Um, so yeah, that is a question that we get asked a lot. Why is your group not free? Why is it? Why is it not? Uh, why is it not cheaper? Well, it's not cheaper because we are the Ferrari of the trading world. We are the best, period. And you get the best education. You get the best team. Again, it's not just myself, but you have a whole team of people here every single day to assist you. Um, yeah, that, that, that's the reason why it's not going to be ever going to, it's never going to be cheaper and uh, it's never going to be free <laughs> because why, why would it be? <laughs> to be honest with you, why, why would it be? Yeah, we're here to help. We're here to assist, but you know, there's still a price that comes with this because we are giving our back our time. We're giving back our expertise to, to, to think it's going to be free. It's unrealistic. The same as you go to a university, go to a university. Yeah. You put, you pay at least 10,000 to hundred thousand a year for university for a year of chart champions. You pay 2000 in comparison to what you gain here, I think is massively undervalued is very 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 cheap in my opinion and not just my opinion by the way but i'm sure you look through here there you go i find it as i value it if it's free <laughs> well you might value if it's free but hey many people will not they'll just waste our time it's not going to be free by the way um it's a very like be it bill very fair price yeah i think it's a i think it's an extremely fair price um anyway yeah that, that that's it for that that topic um da -da 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 -da. i'll take one more question i'll take one more question uh, um, do you think, so somebody's saying, do you think there was a lot of trapped traders at the low? So we'll take a look at this together. Um, a little, a little better, better, better. So here you saw 24 million negative Delta candles. So this is a relatively high amount of shorts. Then here on this candle, 4 million. I know you're starting to see some shorts open. Okay. So the, the, the question basically is essentially, do you think this volume is quote unquote good enough for a swing failure pattern? Okay. Well, 
the, the first thing, and I will always say this, the first and utmost important thing is the candles. Yeah, what's happening on the candles? If you see this on a lower term time, like a lot of people say, oh, what are you waiting for? Like, are you waiting for confirmation? Are you waiting for the reaction? Well, if you, I will say all the time, I wait for the reaction because there would have been two scenarios at this daily. The first scenario is price just gone straight through it. And that is a reaction, e.g. that there was no reaction at the level I was ready and waiting for. If this is a reaction, hitting that level and instantly bouncing from it, that is a reaction. So I will say you do not need exo charts to see that there's a reaction off of the level, no? You can, you can see it with your eyes. There's a reaction there. We hit the level, we bounced. That is a reaction. Okay, so the first thing is the, 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 the candlesticks themselves show us there's a reaction. OK, then you obviously get a retest. This is a, a very low risk trade. OK, very low risk trade with an entry stop loss below the low, of course. Okay, of course, this is hit a take profit 100 percent. There's just no way. Um, there's, there's no way, in my opinion, you, you don't hit a take profit one off of this, by the way. Um, look at that straight into the 1618 extension as well. So, I mean, there's just so many reasons to think this is going to be resistance. Um, so, yeah. The first thing is the reaction we can see on the candlesticks. The second thing is, in my opinion, yes, this was nice order flow. Yes, the volume is not really high. This is why you can see another move to the downside, because the volume is obviously not great. But you still see you know, here 24 million trap shorts coming into your buying imbalances. Yes, it's not. It, I'm not going to lie. It's not it's not perfect. But, you know, you don't always get perfect. But in terms of a reaction that's good enough for a trade, I think, honestly, yes. I mean, my answer was yes, because I took this. But. I think the order flow is acceptable with your first come down of the level with 24 million trapped. You know, these are essentially are 24 million new shorts here opening. You can see the open interest increase with the delta. You start to see 198 million, 259, 192, 146 million. Yeah. So the volume is not massive, but it's it's relatively high for a 4 a.m. move. You have to also take into consideration the time. So for 4 a.m., this is an acceptable move. And then on the retest, this is your really high probability in terms of you know, this is a must take trade after you've seen that swing failure pan. Uh, obviously, you come up into your really big levels of resistance where, of course, I mean, I've said this enough. This has to be a take profit. What if we just dump from here and move downwards? Hey, it's absolutely fine. You, you get out that long, you look for lower, you look for the next setup. I mean, this is during this stream, actually, we've moved down basically 1%. Yeah, this is, is quite a big move to the downside. But this is what I said at the start. Yeah, this is what I said. It's, it's more likely that we are going to retrace locally here because we ran into those resistances. So to expect a pullback. And then, of course, this pullback can gather strength and we can move up again. But to think that you're just going to go through all the levels like butter is not really a high probability, is it? Possible? Yes. High probable? No. Um so yeah, the the answer to the question: Do I think the order? Do I think well, basically? Do I think the volume is good down here? Mm, no, I suppose I wouldn't really say this is is a nice textbook volume. Um, but do I think it was good enough for a trade? And the answer is yes, and that's simply based off the candlesticks. Yeah, the actual the order flow was pretty decent if you're good at scalping. Um, do I think it was tradable 100%? Do I think it was a relatively easy trade? Yes, I do think it was a relatively easy trade. Uh, do I think that we get a bounce to the top of the range now, a really big bounce? Hey, that answer I don't need to know. <laughs> that answer I don't need to know. Um, and again, a change your mindset like me. Well, not just like me, just like a professional. We teach you to we teach you to think like a professional. When you think like this professional, you, you don't need the answer. You need to know the levels where you're willing to trade. Like yesterday, all I said was be patient. Be patient. And wait for the reclaim or wait for the daily. If you waited 24 hours, if you listened to what I said yesterday, I, I, I really don't think you would have not made money today. We, we hit the level that I gave you, and that was the reaction. 5% bounce. Take profit one, stop loss entry. I, uh, I, kind of, I really struggled to, to think that you wouldn't have made anything off of this. Um, da -da 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 yeah, so there you go. Uh, for the people that are wondering, um, yeah, there you go. My, my, my final word. How long was this stream, by the way? Probably longer than what I thought. 40 minutes. Wow, dude, it's a longer stream. Um, yeah, for the people that are 
you know, wanting more, people that want to learn more, hey, we to teach all of this. The primary focus of Chart Champions, what we do is education. We are not a signals group. Yes, I'm giving heads up. I'm giving ideas. I'm giving like things I want to see before it's happened. Yeah, I'm giving all of these ideas. Hey, <laughs> yeah, I'm basically giving you highs and lows. But I'm going to say this. We are not a signals group. This is, this is a bonus. This is a bonus that you this is just a bonus yeah the, the primary 100 percent focus is education it's to educate you to understand how we take these trades how we make these predictions do not join chart champions thinking we're a signals group because you are going to be disappointed to be honest because we are not going to say entry here stop loss here target here this is not what i don't want to do this i could do this and make even more money off of this but i don't want to it's just not my interest i want to educate you to empower you to literally, like I see in many comments, change your life. And I can truly, truly do this. Not just me, I suppose, but the whole team that I have now built around myself. It's, we can truly change your life. I, I know it. I know it, I know it, I know it. We can change your life. We are not a signals group. We are giving you the education needed to move up, to better yourself, yeah? If you come in with that mindset, if you come in with the dedication required, if you come in with that that mindset, hey, this is not going to happen in a week, this is not going to happen in a month, might not even happen in one year. If you come in with a mindset of, hey, this is a skill that I need to learn, that I need to master, you understand this could take three years, and you understand that, you can make it. Yeah, watch all the live streams. Uh, I see re no reason why you cannot be at the top with us, number one in the world. And this is from a team of traders that we've built. Um, so yeah, that, 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 would, that would be my answer, I suppose. So I dislike that I gave to this guy this morning. <laughs> Man is on top of the game. He mentioned this set of weeks in about this one. He missed this, this guy missed the swing failure pattern at 52K, but he got the long and the daily this morning. He has taken take profit one and now is in a risk-free long. Going to chill in this long and study the modules. Good idea, my friends study the modules, increase your knowledge. Every day just gets better and better and better and better. <laughs> Every day is better. 2022, we're going to absolutely crush it. Um, yeah. And I think this is the words that I will end with. Life is a building block. That little block, little block, little block. Don't think, oh my God, I need to master trading in one day. It's not going to happen. It's not realistic. But if you think, hey, I want to increase my knowledge a little bit today, a little bit tomorrow, a little bit the next day. Yeah, in in one year, you, you you've changed. I think you're gonna not even recognize yourself in one year. Truly, I, I think you won't even recognize yourself. Like, how the hell was I taking those stupid trades? <laughs> how did I lose all that money? Yeah, and it, that that doesn't happen in one day. That doesn't happen in one week. Doesn't even happen in one month. But give yourself one year. Imagine yourself in ten years. I'll end with this. Imagine yourself in ten years from now. If you truly dedicate yourself to studying our content. Imagine where you will be in 10 years from now. I don't even need to say, because I think you can know this, where you'll be in 10 years if you dedicate yourself to, 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 to studying uh, our content, then I think the sky's the limit. You can be wherever you want to be. That's all I'll say. Thank you ever so much, everybody. I hope you've truly enjoyed this video. I am going to sign off now, and I'm just going to say, CC Pool, send their regards. I love you all. I love what we do. And uh, that's it. Thank you ever so much, everybody. CC Pool, send their regards. Cheers, everybody. Thank you and good.